Welcome to Through the Bible in a Year with Pastor John. We invite you to join us at 1 Oakley Avenue in North Providence, Rhode Island. This podcast is presented to you by The Way Ministries, supported by listeners like you. For donations, live videos, podcasts, and more, please visit www.thewayministriesri.org. Thank you and have a great day. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Through the Bible in a Year with Pastor John. So glad you could join me today to get a portion of God's Word. Today we're going to begin with day 182, June 30th, Psalms 146 to 150, A Lifestyle of Praise. Overview. It is appropriate in a book with the Hebrew title Tehillim, which means praises, that the final five selections should be filled with precisely that. First, the individual believer voices praise for God's trustworthiness, Psalm 146. Next, the nation of Israel praises God for his tender care, 147. And then all creation praises God for his great and glorious name, 148. God's choice servants join the chorus by extolling God for his love, 149. Finally, accompanied by a grand orchestra of instruments, All living things praise our matchless, mighty God. 150. Psalm 146. My soul. Psalm 147. My nation. Psalm 148. Creation. Psalm 149. His saints. Psalm 150. Everyone. Praise the Lord. How good to sing praises to our God. 147 verse 1. Insight. Restoration Psalm, Psalm 147, 1-20 Many scholars believe Psalm 147 was written during the time of restoration after the Babylonian captivity. Try first reading Nehemiah 12, 27-47, noticing all the references to choirs and songs, and then reading this psalm in that context. You may be reading one of the songs they sang when they dedicated Jerusalem's new wall. Insight. Inspired Psalms. Inspiring Psalms. Psalm 151-6. The Psalter, the collection of Psalms, has become the hymn book of the ages. It is read, recited, or sung virtually every day, and in the majestic strains of more recent hymns based on its verses, such as Martin Luther's A Mighty Fortress is Our God, in Isaac Watts, O God, our help in ages past. The message of the Psalter still rings around the world. Psalm 146. Praise the Lord. Let all that I am praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God with my dying breath. Don't put your confidence in powerful people. There is no help for you there. When they breathe their last, they return to the earth and all their plans die with them. But joyful are those who have the God of Israel as their helper, whose hope is in the Lord their God. He made heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them. He keeps every promise forever. He gives justice to the oppressed and food to the hungry. The Lord frees the prisoners. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are weighed down. The Lord loves the godly. The Lord protects the foreigners among us. He cares for the orphans and widows, but he frustrates the plans of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever. He will be your God, O Jerusalem, throughout the generations. Praise the Lord. Psalm 147. Praise the Lord. How good to sing praises to our God. How delightful and how fitting. The Lord is rebuilding Jerusalem and bringing the exiles back to Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. He counts the stars and calls them all by name. How great is the Lord! His power is absolute. His understanding is beyond comprehension. The Lord supports the humble, but he brings the wicked down into the dust. Sing out your thanks to the Lord. Sing praises to our God with the harp. 
He covers the heavens with clouds, provides rain for the earth, and makes the grass grow in mountain pastures. He gives food to the wild animals and feeds the young ravens when they cry. He takes no pleasure in the strength of a horse or in human might. No, the Lord delights in those who fear him, those who put their hope in his unfailing love. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates and blessed your children within your walls. He sends peace across your nation and satisfies your hunger with the finest wheat. He sends his orders to the world, how swiftly his word flies. He sends the snow like white wool. He scatters frost upon the ground like ashes. He hurls the hail like stones. Who can stand against his freezing cold? Then at his command it all melts. He sends his winds and the ice thaws. He has revealed his words to Jacob, his decrees and regulations to Israel. He has not done this for any other nation. They do not know his regulations. Praise the Lord. Psalm 148. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him from the skies. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all the armies of heaven. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you twinkling stars. Praise him, skies above. Praise him, vapors high above the clouds. Let every created thing give praise to the Lord. For he issued his command, and they came into being. He set them in place forever and ever. His decree will never be revoked. Praise the Lord from the earth, you creatures of the ocean depths. Fire and hail, snow and clouds, wind and weather that obey him. Mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all livestock, small scurrying animals and birds, kings of the earth and all people, rulers and judges of the earth. Young men and young women, old men and children, let them all praise the name of the Lord, for his name is very great. His glory towers over the earth in heaven. He has made his people strong, honoring his faithful ones, the people of Israel who are close to him. Praise the Lord. Psalm 149. Praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing his praises in the assembly of the faithful. O Israel, rejoice in your maker. O people of Jerusalem, exult in your king. Praise his name with dancing, accompanied by tambourine and harp. For the Lord delights in his people. He crowns the humble with victory. Let the faithful rejoice that he honors them. Let them sing for joy as they lie on their beds. Let the praises of God be in their mouths and a sharp sword in their hands to execute vengeance on the nations and punishment on the peoples, to bind their kings with shackles and their leaders with iron chains, to execute the judgment written against them. This is the glorious privilege of his faithful ones. Praise the Lord. Psalm 150. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heaven. Praise him for his mighty works. Praise his unequaled greatness. Praise him with the blast of the ram's horn. Praise him with the lyre and the harp. Praise him with the tambourine and dancing. Praise him with the strings and flutes. Praise him with the clash of cymbals. Praise him with loud clanging cymbals. Let everything that breathes Sing praises to the Lord. Praise the Lord. My Daily Walk. Congratulations. Today you will finish reading the longest book of the Bible, Psalms, a believer's handbook of worship. While you are catching your breath and preparing to begin the book of Proverbs tomorrow, pause long enough to ask yourself one question. Is there anything different about my walk with God today for having spent the past month in the book of Psalms? Psalm 147.1 gives three reasons for God's people to praise Him. It is good in God's eyes, 
Two, it is pleasant, delightful to the one doing the praising. And three, it is appropriate considering who God is. Praise is like a bride's wedding ring. The bride's husband rejoices to see her wear it. She herself delights in it, and it testifies to others of the beauty of the couple's relationship. Tie a small piece of colored yarn around a ring you are wearing to remind you throughout the day that it's always in style to adorn your life with praise to God. Praising and adoring God is the noblest part of the saint's work on earth as it will be his chief employ in heaven. Oh, that's so true. That's all for today, my friends. It was great reading along with you. Have a great day and keep up the good work. And I will see you tomorrow. Lord willing, peace.